Today, my top pro tips and tricks to turn the PMUP into one of the most versatile tools you'll likely ever own. From big systems to pico tanks and all aquatic applications across the board. Your saltwater, freshwater, shrimp tanks, terrariums, fountains, and more. First up, tip number one. Get the power supply if you don't already have it, even if you have an Apex. Because having that power supply makes it mobile and you can use it anywhere. Just plug it in and you're up and running. Tip number two. As an ATO pump, make sure you use the included anti-siphon fitting. Sure, it'll spray a little in the reservoir through that anti-siphon hole, but it greatly decreases the chances of back siphoning and overfilling your sump, which generally leads to a mess from your protein skimmer. Tip number three, when attaching your PMUP to your reactor like the BRS Mini, use the 3 8 to half inch push connect union. Now it's super quick to disconnect, which makes maintenance and media changes so much easier. Also, it makes for a much cleaner install and a more secure fit, so there's no need for those clamps, zip ties, or whatever other creative DIY solutions you may have already tried. Bonus tip, add a half inch Murloc ball valve and now you have flow control as well. Tip number four is a great application for all hobbyists but a must have for all SPS Aquarists. This is one of my favorite pro tip uses. Two seconds and two pieces convert this pump into the ultimate pest removal targeting tool. Simply attach a 3 8 to quarter inch push connect union and a quarter inch acrylic rod. All you have to do next is aim. Acro eating flatworms and pest algae don't stand a chance even in the tiny nooks and crannies of your corals. And now you have a direct aim that's strong enough to remove the problem, but gentle enough that it won't take your coral's delicate tissue with it. Tip number five, you can also use the same setup to spot clean pumps and keep impellers free from buildup. The best part is that you can do this without having to remove them. Because for me and for you, it's all about working smarter and not harder. Tip number six, we all need to clean our equipment. So for a faster and more thorough cleaning, drop your equipment and the PMUP into a citric acid and RO soak. And if needed, after the bath, target those areas that may need an extra blast. The best part here is you end up with clean equipment and a clean PMUP all at the same time. Tip number seven, we didn't forget about the freshwater community. Because the PMUP does not need to be completely submerged, it's ideal for small fountains, terrariums, and turtle tanks. It's also a great option as a return pump for trending ornamental shrimp tanks. Tip number eight, water changes can be a challenge for pico and nano tanks as most siphons don't fit in there and it's nearly impossible to get through a water change without bumping or knocking something off your rock structure. Instead, keep your coral safe and make water changes super easy. Just attach a push connect fitting and the diameter and length of tubing that works best for you. Drop in the Pima, take out a gallon or two, and you're done. Two bonus tips. Bonus tip number one, get two murloc elbows and a few extra inches of tubing to make a super cheap no spill fill hook. So no more lifting heavy buckets, splashing water, or disturbing your corals or your sand bed. And bonus tip number two, which I am super excited about. I paired two awesome products, the PMUP and the Aquamax magnetic feeder ring with a union and some tubing to make a magnetic, mobile, and hands-free tool. It's a perfect fit. You just slip it in, move it into position, and now you're set for spot cleaning, water changes, and pest removal, all without limitations. And speaking of pest removal, check out my KZ combo video and see how we use the combination of the PMUP and the KZ line to combat the dreaded acro-eating flatworm.